My name is Eric Stark. I'm 32 years old. My profession right now is a professional powerboat racer. I'm a six-time world champion and a four-time European champion. I always like racing and adrenaline and I think this sport really gives you everything because it's so crazy to drive a boat in 240 km per hour and turning 180 degrees and without releasing the throttle. You know, that feeling is so amazing. Like I said, normally I'm racing powerboat racing in over 200 km per hour. Today we're doing something less fast, but for sure same excitement. We're trying out the first and only full electric foiling boat. So welcome back to another vlog. Here we are with Eric Stark, the six times powerboat world champion, four times European champion. So I see you came with a cool bike. Yes, this is uh, the KTM Freeride E, a full electric, super cool bike. It's really, really cool. Electric is really the future. And here we are at the Candla factory. They make 100% electric boats, foiling at the same time. Let's check it out. Hello, guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Hey. <laughs> so now we're at the Candla factory, creating 100% electric foiling boats. So we have the PR manager, the marketing manager, the control system engineer and the founder and CEO, Gustav. Since I'm not the pro, I'm gonna leave Eric and Gustav to it. The whole idea with Candela is to build a, a very light boat and to put it on hinderfalls. And the reason we do that is that we want to reduce the energy you need to push it through water massively. And the design we have now, then we cut down the energy needed like 75% compared to a normal planing boat. And the reason we do that is that we want to make it electric. And, and batteries contain very little energy compared to gasoline. So they get super heavy and you throw in a lot of batteries, it gets expensive. And despite that, you don't get any range at all. To change that, we reduced the weight and put it on hydro falls. And then we got that 75% reduction in energy. So we can have very much uh, less batteries and, and still get a good range. So the boat now is roughly the same range as a normal petrol boat. When you put it on foils, you also get the added advantage that you don't get any slamming in the boat. Yep. So when others are like bumping around on, on the sea due to waves or wakes, we can just cut through that. So it becomes a very nice ride. If you're wakeboarding, it's a bit boring. <laughs> uh, you buy another boat then. But if you, uh, you know, want to save the shorelines and, yep. and not create a lot of mess for others, it's, it's a fantastic right. thing. So what do you think? Enough talking and let's go try. Yeah, let's do that. Super excited. I cannot wait to go now. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, have fun. This is the crazy thing. Are we up and running? Yeah. The engine is on and no sound. What? What? Alright, you ready? Yes. Okay, let's try the first point. Just the fact this that you take
boat out, it doesn't cost anything. No. So that's like, uh, that's part of boating oh. advice. Are you going to place, you're having lunch, dinner, it's like, yeah. oh fuck, that's 50 euros yeah, no, just to go yeah. there. Five crowns were full of charge and you can go 20, 28 nautical mile now in 22 knots. So really amazing. 50 cents. 50 US dollar cents. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. The whole system is already compensating for, for your road movements, right? Is it again? <laughs> it's just super cool. I'm, I cannot wait, wait to start to push it a little bit now and see what it, what it can do. But so far it's, you know, it's so smooth and so easy to drive. You don't need to do anything. It's driving itself, basically. What about like you've been driving, you've been driving boat for your whole life, like racing all kinds of boats and everything, and you push and you have what you have like a few G's in the corners. Yeah, constantly. I noticed I noticed the big difference directly because when a boat starts to go a little bit like this, you know, when you have a monohole boat, you want to try to correct it. Um, but this one, you should just leave it because you know the sensors and the the computer stabilize stabilize the, the boat itself. So. If you just try to correct it, you just make it worse. You get a retrain your brain. <laughs> yes, this is the problem. <laughs> no, and that's the thing, like you just sat down, like literally 10 minutes ago, and now you're sitting here all relaxed. Before yeah. you're thinking like, oh, we're gonna go up, and we're gonna go foiling, and now you're sitting here like nothing. Yeah, yeah, it's... Cruising in the sun. It's yeah, it's huge. cruising. And then like inside here, you know, it's no wind, super small, no sound, you know, it's... It's a very nice boat. You can have a normal conversation. Yeah, yeah, easily, you know. Even me, because I have very bad ears from all the racing and uh, all all bad things. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're coming to our first pit stop, uh, Vaxholm. And then gonna head all the way out to the archipelago. And have some fun. Have some fun. And then when you can feel like it's about to land, you just pull back to neutral. Okay. Neutral. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> easy. <laughs> You're now a certified Kendler pilot. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. So easy. The landing sequence is automated. So it basically triggers when you pull back. It uh, starts to slow down, ramps your height down, and then it flares like an airplane. So the pitch, so the, so the, the pitch as we call it, it pitches up like this, and then it goes like that, down like that, as you know from an airplane. So you can get more speed but same efficiency. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You have the same rate at 22 yeah. knots as in 5 knots. Yeah, so it's not like you're saving any distance by doing this. No, but you're saving a lot of time. The way we build the boat is that we use a very dense structure. So this structure is only like 90 kilos. Yeah. And then we add the, the hull shell, which is roughly 100 kilos to that. Yeah. So all in all, you get below 200 kilos and then you have kind of a boat. I said it's pretty light. Maybe you want to try it out. Yeah, I went to the gym <laughs> yesterday. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe a bit tired. Well, you manage anyway. Yeah. yeah. So what makes like your boat so special? At the end of the day, we get a boat that has a range of 50 nautical miles and can go pretty fast. Uh, and we do that on uh, electric propulsion only. And no one else has done that or come even close to it. So the best competitors we have now, they have like three times the battery size as we have and still they have a range which is less than half of ours. We started to produce boats uh, last summer. This is actually boat number 14. And one thing that we wanted to do, that we decided on pretty early, was that we wanted every boat to be kind of like an individual. And therefore you can choose the color you want and you can choose the design of the interiors inside. So we are pretty convinced that uh, the way that boats have been built so far, that sort of belongs to the, to the history yeah. and that something needs to be radically changed to, uh, to deal with the environment. By combining a lot of technology as we have done and we feel more like a tech company than a normal boat builder actually, yeah, yeah. we can achieve a product that sort of solves all the environmental problems you also get a ride that costs like 95% less than a petrol boat. We hope and think that this will be really the future of boating.
So now you've been trying out the boat for the whole day. Yeah. What do you think? It's amazing. We really tried in, to push it and uh, we had the, the coder with us and we actually tried to beat his system, but no, the system is good. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cool day. I think we had fun, you know, everyone. For me, it was first time to even be in a foiling boat and electric. So it was completely quiet, completely like, like I said, it's Cadillac. It's like just <laughs> running smooth. Nice. So yeah, good day. I think we have a video of my first face when we did it. And then we was like... <gasps> and even in the end, before we, we, we stopped, it was still... <gasps> <laughs> yeah, every time we're gonna do a takeoff, you're like... Yes. It doesn't change. Every time, it's, it's, like, more, it's still like, adrenaline. I, yeah, I felt like an airplane, like... <laughs> like looking around like okay everyone is ready yeah. okay we're yeah. going now yeah. Yeah. but I, I love this just the phrase like are you guys ready for takeoff oh, yes yeah. it's just that phrase yeah. like takeoff okay let's go and then the landing you think yeah. you're gonna go bam but you're yeah. like, Ooh. and then yeah. you're like you're done so we were speaking about to take the pilot lesson now right yeah exactly exactly <laughs> next, step. Next, yes. step. Next, yes. step. next step just we've been having an awesome day thank you everyone for this it's been an amazing time really and thank that you, you made the day showed us what it's all about so thank you so much cheers everybody